Ready from Rady's Rides, and I know you're probably saying to yourself, not another Ford Focus. How many Ford Focus STs is this guy going to review? Well, guess what? This is another Ford Focus ST, but this is nothing like what you've seen so far up to date because what's really wonderful about this menacing black Focus ST is that it's not stuck. And it's been given not only extra power, but as you can see from the outside, just from this little angle, it's got that extra styling as well that even makes it more menacing and more, uh, you know, stand out from the crowd. I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Anthony for bringing out his baby here and featuring it on Rady's Rides. And this is something that I like to share is there's a lot of subscribers, a lot of viewers, people that have some amazing vehicles. You want to have it featured on Rady's Ride? Leave a comment in that comment section at the end of the video and we'll put something together. But anyways, let's get back to this Ford Focus ST. So for many years, Ford has kind of cheated us. And when I say us, I'm talking about people in the United States. We've had this outdated, watered-down Ford Focus. Finally, in 2009, they decided to bring the Focus, the European revision, to the United States. Because guess what? The Europeans have had a better Ford Focus for a very, very long time. So now we're on equal playing grounds. When they brought the car over, they eventually came out with what's called the Ford Focus ST. Now, if you're wondering, what does ST stand for? Does it stand for sport track, uh, special track, or something? No, it stands for sport technology. And that's something where Ford is going to throw some power, throw some technology out of it to make the driving experience that much better for the enthusiasts. And that's really what it's all about. I love cars like these because it really is there for the enthusiasts. Um, this one is a 2016. And what's nice is, is that in 2015, they actually did some slight revisions. So there is a difference between, say, like a 2013 Ford Focus ST and something newer like this, a 2016. But enough about the history of the Ford Focus. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front end of this menacing black ST. What I really, really like what Ford has always done is, is they've done something special with the grill area. This allows the car to stand out. And if you look at a Ford Focus RS, they even took it higher. Now, what uh, Anthony decided to do is he went with a Rally Innovation front lip here. And I'm going to show you in a few seconds how this lip goes actually around to the side skirts. What's nice about this is that that's metal. It's I very rarely see these lips and splitters metal and what's really nice that he was telling me about is that it really helps with rock chips and things like that and it has a really really nice flat black look another thing behind this plastic grill here lurking behind there that is definitely not a stock intercooler now normally that's where you would find the stock intercooler this is a Steeda intercooler now if you're wondering Steeda where does that come from guess what Steeda has been working with Ford products for a very long time the Mustang though and they've been able to get lots of power on the Mustang well guess what they when the Focus ST came out, they started doing some engineering and some tweaking, and now they have a whole plethora of aftermarket goodies to help get that extra performance that you want. Because remember, at the end of the day, from the factory, this car produces around 250 horsepower. What's amazing about Anthony's Focus ST, we're talking about 100 more horsepower from the mods that he has done and the tune that he had that go with it. But we'll talk about that in a second. But I really, really like the front of the car just as it is from the factory. And definitely this front lip is adding that extra aggressive look. And you can't deny that bigger intercooler. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Now, rest of the Focus ST, you know, this is how it comes from the factory. But if we drop down and take a look down here, here's that Rally Innovation side skirt right here. Also metal. I really like this piece right here to help direct air over that rear tire. I don't know if you've noticed from the beginning shot, this car actually sits about two inches lower. This has a Godspeed coilover setup. What that means is, is that Anthony was able to drop from the stock height two inches. And that's what's going to help give you that aggressive look or aggressive stance and also help out with performance and handling. Because that's another thing is, is that Ford wanted this car to handle. They wanted it to handle better than a standard Focus. And one of the big problems with, you know, the ST and, and the Focus in general is that it's front wheel drive. And front wheel drive, you're asking a lot out of the front tires. So if you could do something like add a suspension setup to help 
things along there, that's what's going to happen. But as you can see, besides the coilovers, he went with these awesome Option Lab wheels. I really like the flat, like grayish finish on it. It gives it a very purposeful look, and it just goes well with the way that the car sits. Very, very well done. Let's go ahead and take a look out back. Now, what I really like about the STs is that it has a really clean look. So there's no need to put some big, huge spoiler here. Uh, we, we kept the stock spoiler set up. And you can see it's, it's not really a super high spoiler, but it's got enough and it's functional. That's what I like. Back down here, another thing that I like as well is I love the way they changed the rear bumper on the ST. And there it is. That's an engine exhaust. It's a three-inch catback exhaust. And this thing, I'm telling you, when I go to start it up, it makes a sound that makes you think you're at a World Rally uh, round over in England or in Spain or something like that. But it really just helps tie in that whole performance, that whole enthusiasm of having the passion for the automobile. But I don't know about you. Looking at this thing is awesome. Let's take a look underneath that hood. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, there we are underneath the hood of this beast. This is a two liter, like I said, EcoBoost, which means there's a turbocharger. We're talking about from the factory, 250 horsepower. Now this one, with the modifications that have been done, we're looking at 350 horsepower at the crank and about 310 horsepower to the front wheels. You know, that's the big challenge here. It's one thing to make a ton of horsepower. It's about getting it to the ground. And at the end of the day, because those front wheels are really you're asking a lot out of them i kind of like this setup you know i know that there are guys running um different mods to get more power out of them but if you're not getting it to the ground to me i don't see a point to it but anyways let's focus on this you could see how uh anthony went ahead and went with an engine uh engine uh cold air intake now remember the whole point of a cold air intake is to get exactly like he says that cooler air because cooler air is going to be more dense i don't know if anthony could show you but deep down in there he's running a stage two oil catch can that's an important mod if you're uh, running any kind of turbocharged car especially if you're going to mod it you want to put that oil catch can on there that's going to help collect that and you know it's real easy to change out and to dump out the oil that goes into the catch can and it actually increases the engine life and I'm quite surprised that many companies don't automatically put those in their turbocharged cars. Now, this one has um, uh, a catless downpipe. Like I said, that three-inch exhaust that goes all the way out the back without a resonator. It is definitely louder than stock. But remember, it's all about getting that extra performance. And for Anthony, he was willing to sacrifice maybe a little bit of his hearing at the end of the day to have that extra performance. Like I said before, it's one thing to look at this car. Let's go ahead and take it for a spin. guys we're inside this ford focus st and one thing that i wanted to mention before we roll out is that uh, anthony had installed a uh, cob short throw shifter so those shifts are going to be very nice and precise and the throw is very short another thing that makes this get that 350 horsepower 310 to the wheels is a jst tune i highly recommend if you're going to do any mods to the engine you want to go get a professional tune like Anthony did to make sure things run smoothly without any major issues. Um, basically, what he's running is he has a setup for uh, 93 and also an E85 mix blend. But if you're ready, I'm ready to take this out for a spin. So we're going to go ahead and roll on out. in second gear and now we're going to show you what it's all about with a little bit of a roll on here as you can see you know the power is so much smoother 
than from the factory. Um, it really pulls in nice and low and the power band goes all the way to Redline. I also like the, uh, the Cobb short throw shifter. It makes the throws very precise, very crisp, and you can't deny that sound, that's for sure. These are what these turbo cars are all about, is getting some mods done, really waking them up, and just, you know, from the oral sense of it, the whole nine yards. Okay, we're gonna do another roll on here. Gotta get the power down. Very, very nice and smooth. And to be honest with you, you know, even at that lower RPM, the power makes it to the ground and that's what's important because like I said, at the end of the day, you need the power to get make it to the ground or you're just not gonna be going anywhere. All right guys, so you can see at the end of the day, Anthony really did some amazing work with this Ford Focus ST. And this is what I love about cars and this is why I love sharing my passion of cars with all of you guys is that people not only going down to the dealership and buying something right off the showroom floor that's brand new that is there for the enthusiasts, but something where somebody actually takes a car and even adds more passion, more excitement than what Ford ever thought that the ST could be. I am so happy that there are people like Anthony and many of you that are taking that passion, sharing it with others, and I'm just here to share it with you guys. I want to thank you all today for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead. Please hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worth coming back for more to Rady's Rides. I have something for everybody. Today's a big day. It's actually my six-month anniversary of the channel. I know the term anniversary means one year, but it's a six-month celebration. Rady's Rides has been going on since October 22nd of 2017, and I'm so grateful, guys, for all of you for watching, for subscribing. If there's anything in particular you want to see on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have any questions, leave it in that comment section. You can check out my website, radiesrides.com. I also have just created my new business page on Facebook, Rady's Rides, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out all my original content on uh, Twitter all my original content on Instagram. It's another great way if you need to send me a message or whatnot. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.